eight flights to take this grade two contest. Flag goes down and they're off for the Coral Adonis Juvenile Hurdle, grade two event, class one over two miles. The first to show is Grey Stone in the red and black colours, the grey will lead up to Iroko on the outside with a nose badge. Just behind him is Pleasant Man on hurdling debut, maroon sleeves and cap for that one. Just slightly awkward over the first Pleasant Man. One that's quite keen at the back is Patient Dream, just dropped in behind by Nick Schofield as they make the run towards the second hurdle, the second of the eight all told. It will be the last next time around. Greystone in racing enthusiastically at the second flight. Impulsive One jumps it in second place. The outside Iroko in third, in fourth is Pleasant Man. Fifth is the favorite Knight Salute, the yellow cap on the inside. And he's been followed then by Rubeau on the outer in the pink colors from the stripes of big boy Bobby. Two lengths back to find Teddy Blue, a further three to Mocha Devasi, who in turn is three lengths ahead of Patient Dream is racing in maroon colours and the one right at the back of the field is the Famous Five who's a long way off the leader as they make the turn stretch across that all-weather gallop towards the first of two flights on this side of the track and it's Grey Stone who's out in front and leads by a good four lengths to Impulsive One the green colours racing in second under James Bowen racing in third is Iroko and John Joe O'Neill the white cap the sheepskin noseband pleasant man is a bit wider out in fourth place over that one night salute on the inner he's being followed then by rubo in pink with the purple spots out wider then comes big boy bobby further back to find teddy blue and mocha devasi over that flight and then a big gap to patient dream another big gap to the famous five as they took that hurdle over on the far side another turn right hand in fact famous five is becoming more and more remote here as they continue their journey and Greystone and Izzy's out in front by about five lengths to Impulsive One in second place. Pleasant Man's up on the outer under Harry Cobden. Iroko is next. Rubo is wider out. Paul Nichols, other runner, looking to win this race for the fifth time. Back on the inside, Knight Salute. The yellow cap is still in a good position there for Paddy Brennan. He's been followed then by Mocha Devasi in the dark blue and white colours, who's ahead of Big Boy Bobby. And then comes Teddy Blue in the green. And then Patient Dream niggled along now to try and get in touch as they make the run towards the next hurdle. Greystone it is, who has the lead of a couple of lengths to Impulsive One on the inside in second. Knight Salute, a little bit awkward that time. Wider out Rubo, also Mocha Devasi's on the move. The dark blue and white colours just niggled along then his Pleasant Man as the pace begins to really increase down the side of the track. And up front it's still Greystone, who has the advantage of a length and a half to Iroko, to the outside Pleasant Man, even wider out Mocha Devasi. Rubo's on the extreme outside. To the inside Impulsive One has gone the shortest way. And then Big Boy Bobby in the striped colours from Knight Salute, yet to be asked for his effort, followed by Teddy Blue and a struggling patient dream. The pace continues to increase as they head then towards the home turn. And it's still there, Greystone on the inside, the red and black, Impulsive One has now won off the rails. Knight Salute is racing in an improving third position, out wider of those, ridden along to get closer to his big boy, Bobby Pleasant Man has dropped tamely away. I think he might be pulled up almost as they head to the home turn. It's Greystone who leads Knight Salute, who's coming there strongly now in second place. Also, Teddy Blue's on the improve. He goes into third now on the inner of a ridden along Impulsive One. And on the outside is big boy, Bobby. Knight Salute is coming strongly there for Paddy Brennan, the yellow cap to come and tackle the long-time leader, Greystone. Here's the second last, the Adonis hurdle. And it's Knight Salute now, who just goes to the front to Greystone in second. Teddy Blue back in third, and they're clear of big boy Bobby as they head down towards the final flight. Knight Salute now driven, he has the lead. The danger could be Teddy Blue on the outside, picking up well for Jamie Moore. Knight Salute and Teddy Blue at the last. Teddy Blue knocked the flight over, and Knight Salute has the advantage here, about three lengths, and Knight Salute keeps on finding, and Knight Salute's gonna retain his unbeaten record over her and win the Adonis hurdle for Milton Harris, Paddy Brennan and for the Four Candles partnership the Triumph hurdle dream is still burning bright. Second Teddy Blue, third was Greystone and fourth Iroko and then Mocha Devasi and Big Boy Bobby. Knight Salute has completed the nap hand and he's won again in Grady Company winning trainer Milton Harris with me and Milton I guess you must be absolutely delighted with that yeah look we've had good I'm just thinking back then Mondel I think you were probably there many years ago when he won first time at um, at Warwick this is a good horse because he, he, he Mondel was the same they, they just he's a workman like character at home and I say Tuesday I've been in sandwich we had a runner and did everything so well over there and I came back and my head lad's done a great job and um we worked him on Tuesday and he worked really well, which was a bit off-putting. And, uh, and we had a little cough about 10 days ago, and so we scoped him, and the scope was OK, it wasn't bad. But I, I was a little apprehensive today because, you know, these are good horses in here. I mean, but anyway, listen, he does as little as he can do and he wins, doesn't he? Mm. So, I mean, they're the best types to have, I think. 
Um, what's he like at home? I mean, for example, has he Im improved physically? Has he matured physically since you've had him? Well, if you look at him in the paddock, he looks a hurdler, doesn't he? Yeah. Some of those big, you know, Venetia's also a lovely big horse, but round here is not, but he's one round Cheltenham, he's one on bad, every time we think he'll get turned over, I mean, Doncaster, nothing was right for him, bad ground, he won. Um, Cheltenham, you know, he won here on a sharp track, he's won. So uh, he's pretty adaptable. Libby rides him most of the days. Young Tegan, 16 year old, will be riding him at home. Have a good team of people. Um, so, all rows to Cheltenham now? I'd say so. I mean, I don't think any other places are going, is there? So, I mean, look, we're going to be third or fourth favourite. As I say, we were unbeaten, and the Irish horse, I'm sure, are very good. But I think, if I'm, unless I'm mistaken, I think the first three in the betting have all been defeated once. Mm. So they're beatable. You know, I'm sure we're beatable, but they haven't done it yet, have they? No. So, what will you do with him at home? Just keep ticking over between now. He'll work. Oh, what are we today? Saturday. He'll probably work next Saturday, and he might work on the Wednesday before. But he doesn't do a lot, so so he canters away every day. And I've got a good team of people. We'll do it right. Well, he may not do much at home, but as long as he keeps yeah. doing it on the yeah. race. And I think today, I mean, Gary's obviously is a nice horse, and but I, and he, he looks. I just said to Gary, congratulations. And if he'd jumped the last, would it have been different? I think my horse doesn't do anything in front, but Gary's looks a nice horse, and it wasn't a bad field. Good so, field. Yeah, yeah. We can only win, can't we? Well, you keep doing that. Uh, congratulations once again. Uh, yeah. Good luck at Cheltenham. Thanks very much. Thank you. Paddy Brennan joins me back here at Kempton after night salutes. Uh, continued winning run by taking the Coral Adonis hurdle. Many congratulations, Paddy. Um, talk me through the race, first of all. Yeah, um, we went faster than I thought we were going to go on paper, which really helped me. Like the first two, three furlongs, I was, I was as fast, going as fast as I could possibly go comfortably. And that was really going to play in my favour. And... You know, as a respect to that, I probably got there a bit soon, but no, it was a good performance. Um, what's he like as as an individual? What's he like to ride in a race? Yeah, he's small, he's all guts. He's probably as quick to horse I've ever ridden from A to B over hurl. He's, he's so accurate, yeah. He's, as I say, he's small, he knows his limits, but if you time him from one side of a hurl to the other, I'd say it's very, very quick. Um, we know he acts around Cheltenham. You said he was probably going as quick as he could go today, so the prospect of the stiffer test once again on the new course has got to be a plus, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, he, that's his, he, he stays very well. You know, he, he, you get there a bit soon on him, but I know he stays, so I'm keen to keep the race going. Cheltenham suits him. It's obviously very competitive with Willie Mullins and Gordon Elias, but you've got to turn up and you've got to perform, and we know this lad will. Yeah, well, he keeps on doing it. Uh, you've got to go there with a live chance. We'll give it a good go anyway, definitely. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers Paddy. It's perfect.